and Nipigon's oh world record brook trout. I planned to release this fish, but when I did, he thrashed out of my arms and he bonked himself on a rock. We are on our way to Omiyak Canyon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. We will see once we get there. I'm so excited. I've seen so much about this place. It's turned into a beautiful day, so I look forward to checking it out. So we made the trek up here in our car. This is the Omiyak Canyon Provincial Park. There's actually another business called Eagle Adventures, but Eagle Canyon. Eagle Canyon Adventures, but we figured we'd check out the Provincial Park. I don't think it has a suspension bridge like I thought, but it's a lot quieter and it was $2 per person and it's a provincial park, so we don't mind supporting them. Uh, we're just on the trail to go to our first lookout. We're really excited! Yay! So we're just packing up all of our things from our hotel. We stayed in Thunder Bay last night at the Best Western. It was a much needed change. We got to shower and sleep in our own individual queen beds. We got a great breakfast. Yeah, great breakfast. And uh, saw my brother last night where we cleaned Ryan's fish and cooked that up and shared that with Erica and Johnny. So today we are on our way to Kakabeka Falls. We have three nights there and we're looking forward to that. So yeah, I'll take you guys with us booger. and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, baby booger. Baby booger. Hello, on the road again. So we've finally made it to the part of the trip where we start making things. I think we're officially on vacation at that point. So Ryan is gonna make a little birch bark canoe. He has some spruce roots soaking in water for a couple hours. Yeah, there they are. So on YouTube, we watched a video of Rainier's making birch bark art with an indigenous woman. We're trying to recreate it. So we're learning how to like split the birch bark, which is really difficult. Make a thin piece, then you fold it and bite it with your teeth and you hold it up to the sun and it makes a cool design. We wanted to try it out. It's really pretty, even just peeling it. But anyways, 
I'm going to take this piece and fold it. So my verdict is the paper needs to be thinner. I don't know, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a pattern, but I don't think it's thin enough. Ryan did one, and it worked out. That's the Helter Skelter pattern. <laughs> this is the Helter Skelter pattern. So you can see the pattern that is made by biting on the birch bark. Actually, Ryan, that doesn't look too bad. Like when you look at it, like normally you're like, okay, that's not so nice. So there you go. What are you doing? I'm doing something else. What are you doing? I'm crushing up charcoal. Oh, let's see. Now what is that for? Yeah, you mix that with pine pitch and I guess historically animal fat. So I'm gonna be minus the animal fat. I'm gonna try just mixing it with the charcoal to see what it does and then I'm going to try and uh, use that as adhesive to kind of seal the ends here. Yeah, it'll be cool to see what you make. That is uh, episode one, <laughs> Birch Bark Artwork with the Vandenbergs. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>